Alright, guys. All right, here's a really stupid cartoon. Pro gun control cartoon. Cool guys with guns. The video game. It, yeah, it's already got a charge title. It's about... Well, you know, I'll show you what it's about. Let, let's just go. I have an idea for a multiplayer first-person shooter video game. Alright. It's called Good Guys with Guns. <sighs> There's the charge title. So, you're hanging out in a dark, crowded club with lots of other good guys. Suddenly, gunfire erupts. Your challenge is to identify the bad guy and shoot him. That's easy. Just make sure you hit your target, killing the one bad guy in the room. That's all there is to it. Okay, here's what he's gonna do in the video. He's gonna imply... Hold on. He's gonna imply that you can't possibly identify who the bad guy is, shoot him while avoiding civilian targets, uh, innocent people targets. He's going to apply it, imply that throughout the whole video, despite the fact that when you conceal carry or open carry, you train, or at least you should train, to hit the bad guy and not the good guys. And he's not going to care about the fact that, you know, people do get saved by concealed carriers, like, or open carriers, one million gun defense uses a year. He's, he's not going to care about that. He's going to act like it's just so impossible to protect yourself and others with a gun that you just shouldn't do it. We should just be disarmed or just unarmed. I mean, yeah. But, in shooting at the bad guy, make sure you don't hurt any of the good guys in the room. Okay, this animation is making me a bit dizzy with the red silhouettes. After all, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Also, if you see someone shooting, just make sure, instantly and with life or death at stake and with bullets flying, that he's the one bad guy you want to shoot and not one of the many good guys you don't. It's that easy. <sighs> Look, there's a lot of people have put out, pointed out in the comments, there are ways to differentiate the rampagers or mass shooter from the, the good guys, the concealed or open carriers. One, people are going to be running away from the mass shooter, okay? They're not going to be running away from the innocent people with gun. They're going to be running away from the mass shooter. That'll give them away right there. The mass shooter is going to be targeting innocent people. That'll also give them away right there. But the concealed carry, open carry people, they're not going to do any of that. So that'll let people know that they're the, the, the good guys. Okay? Another thing is, let's say one person dies. You know, like, two men enter, one man leaves if I want to keep it real simple. If the guy who, who is left alive shoots at innocent people, he was the shooter. The guy left alive doesn't shoot at innocent people, he's the rescuer. Okay, that's another way to tell the shooter apart from the good guy with a gun is uh, he's going to continue shooting even if he killed a good guy with a gun. I mean, it's it's basically boils down to location, behavior, and basic logic, how you differentiate the mass shooter from the rescuers. And this guy doesn't realize that. Edward Current just doesn't realize that you can reasonably train with a gun to protect people and actually do so, which has been done before. But look out. You have to fire your gun without any of the good guys thinking that you're the bad guy and killing you. Which would be bad. But that's- Okay, he doesn't need to talk in such a patronizing tone like we're little kids, okay? Easy too, cause you're a really good guy. Naturally, in a crowded club full of guns and alcohol, nothing could ever go wrong with the- People aren't gonna just stand there, they're gonna run away. Scenario. Okay, nobody's saying concealed or open carry or defensive gun use is perfect, or that bad things don't happen. Nobody, Nobody's saying that, but he acts like they are saying that. And we realize that bad things can and do happen, but we also realize we can make good things happen, as well as minimize the damage of bad things happening. He doesn't realize that. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is everyone else being ready to shoot at anyone who's shooting at someone. Once again, the training. <sighs> God damn it. And that's not just an idea for a video game. It's the solution to gun violence in America. Uh, yeah, the, the, I'm sorry, but that that's just a huge straw, man. And you can even go down in comments. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of stupid comments. And yeah, there's some smart ones. There's this one. It's, you're right, we should take away gun. Yeah, that's that's true too. This is smart. People realize being disarmed is bad. Or unarmed. Okay, there's this guy who gives a really long explanation. Bystanders run. By bystanders run away from the bad guy. Crowd disperses, making it you have a more clear shot at the bad guy. Yeah, this guy basically gets it. This guy doesn't. <clears throat> I 
okay, okay, it's a bit much to just try to scroll down and find the major comments, but you, you get the idea. People get that being armed is a better idea than being disarmed. People get that people can and have protected people. So, sorry Edward Current, but you're wrong. Wish you weren't. And yeah, it's a six-year-old video, but since people still argue with that, argue this way, and since Edward Current still replies, you know, to it, I'd say it's still relevant. I mean, look, his last reply was from two months ago. This guy says, sorry, Edward Current, you got all wrong. Good guys with guns have white skin and wear red hats or camo outfits. Bad guys have non-white skin or anti you. Okay, yeah, he's just being racist here and discriminatory against people with certain political positions. Exit. Exactly, look at the mugshots of the mass shooters. Gecko says a stupid racist comment. I mean, yeah, Gecko Rax says a stupid racist comment. Edward Curran says a stupid comment. You know, agreeing with him. <sighs> I'm sorry, but these videos are just so dumb. I, 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 just, I just can't stand it when someone acts like that being unarmed is better than being armed. Yes, there are some risks with being armed, but guess what? There are also even bigger risks with being unarmed. With being unarmed, only the bad guy has a gun, and only the bad guy can kill, and nobody can fight back. As I said before, you have to shoot the shooter to defend yourself. And, you know, and that's where the second scenario comes in. It's like, the bad guy's armed, but at least one other person's armed to be able to fight him. You have to shoot the shooter. I keep I keep saying this, I can't stress this enough. But people who want people unarmed, they don't, real, they don't want people to shoot the shooter, be unarmed. Or disarmed, they don't want him to shoot at the shooter. The only people they will tend to want to shoot at the shooter are the cops. And they're minutes away, at least. At least five minutes away. So, I think the fact that you are your own first responder means you have to have a gun to defend yourself. I wish Edward Current saw it that way. I wish he were smart. I wish he saw that gun ownership is a good thing and that people defend themselves with guns. But he just doesn't as of, well, to this day. I mean, you know, he made the video six years ago. June 15, 2016, and his latest reply shows he still stands by what he said. So, sorry, Edward, you're wrong. You can change your belief to facts if you want to, just as anyone can. But right now, you're just, you're just wrong. So, yeah, that's that. Alright, see you guys.